Hey, what is happening guys? Art Chisel here, aka Sergeant Massey. Today we are with a bunch of trainees and you're about to go to the gas chamber. You guys are ready? Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go. What is happening guys? So okay, right now we are still on post for basic army combat training and we are about to go to the gas chamber. So they're getting briefed over there right now on what to do, what to expect, how to use the gas mask and all of that. It should be fun. I'm pretty excited because I'm going in there too and start filming more. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie also, it's been a minute for me. So I need a refresher training. The last time I went to the CS gas chamber was back in Fort Hood. So this is something different, but it's mainly to film. So I'm pretty excited, let's go. What's your last name, Private? Private Luzan. Okay, barely hear you. But you said you watch our chisel? For how long now? Uh, about, about like three months before I came here. Hell yeah, that's what's up. You ready for the gas chamber, excited? Nervous. Okay, you got it. Stay motivated, okay? The gas chamber in the US Army basic combat training is an enclosed building. Similar to a small shed where trainees are taken to evaluate their training with their gas mask. This exercise is meant to give the trainees confidence in their protective equipment and to let them know what tear gas feels like. Today we went in and we did the gas chamber and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Today we were challenged but when you accomplish something like that you you know you can do anything and that was a great representation I think for all of us today. I liked trying to challenge myself to be really tough. I tried not to cry and I tried not to spit all over myself or throw up. Definitely walking out and being done was, was the highlight of the experience. Things you accomplish in the army, and things you accomplish in basic training, that's you're gonna have experiences you won't get opportunities to have. It's unlike any other experience I've ever had and you're challenged and it shows you what you can do and what you're capable of. Before entering the gas chamber, you will be trained on how to fit your protective mask. The primary goal is to instill confidence that their equipment will protect them during actual use in combat. Learning how to clear your mask is important. Every single one will be trained on how to handle their chemical gear. Some trainees fail to pay attention to these instructions and regret their lack of attention while in the gas chamber. You will maintain your military bearing. I don't want you to look like a fool inside there. Now what you're about to see is what happens from start to finish about what happens in the gas chamber. The instructor will enter first and initiate a slow burning pot in the middle of the room. This contains the crowd suppression gas. Trainees will come in with their mask on and properly sealed. They will then do different things like talking, making different facial movements, and to do some light exercises to increase their heart rate and breathing. If the trainee has donned the mask properly, it will have stayed sealed the whole time inside the gas chamber. The trainees will be instructed to break their seal by lifting the edge of the mask and then reseal the mask all while holding their breath. While inside the gas chamber, some people get nervous. Some people panic and they forget all their training. Just remember, this is that moment where you have to trust your equipment, your drill sergeants, and yourself. Clap your arms! Clap your arms! Clap your arms! 
Immediately upon exiting the gas chamber, you should open your eyes. This will seem like a hard task under the circumstances, but keeping your eyes open in fresh air will allow any discomfort to dissipate. Let's go! 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 Let's go!